What's up folks? This is Sacrificio back again with a attack strategy for hog riders and balloons. Uh, this is similar to a hog riders and dragons attack strategy, I suppose, but I have to admit this is the first time I'm giving it a try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take out these air defenses with my hog riders and I'm going to just throw my balloons at it and see what happens. Um, I actually, uh, I meant to have three lightning spells uh, for this uh, type of attack so that I could take out one of the air defenses with my lightning. I don't see myself using healing potions for the balloons, so I kind of goofed that up. Um, but anyway, I, I'm not going to use them. I'm just going to see what happens here with the uh, hogs and air defenses. So kind of an expensive attack using all those hog riders, but um, not as expensive as hogs and dragons. Uh, I can... I can build balloons faster and uh, definitely they are cheaper than dragons. You can see that, you know, once you get the air defenses out of the way, you're pretty safe. However, um, the reason I need to have a decent amount of hog riders for an attack like this is because when I take these balloons together as a group like this into something like a wizard tower, they really get obliterated. Um, you know, the splash damage just takes them down so quickly. So you can see this attack was, was pretty simple, pretty successful. That's probably because um, I'm attacking a lower level base. So this is a, this is a Town Hall 7, and uh, maybe a little bit unfair because he's not even a fully upgraded Town Hall 7. But in any case, this is a successful attack. Um, as long as these balloons can move around the base fast enough, this will be 3 star, and I will take all of those resources. So... Again, the, the simple strategy is to track a path for the hog riders to get through and take out the air defenses. In this case, I used too many hog riders, but the reason was I wanted to really make sure they got into the middle to take out the air defenses for me. Um, I prefer to use either lightning spells or rage spells for an attack like this. The rage spells with the balloons or the lightning spells to take out a air defense from the center of the base. Okay, here's another Town Hall level 7. This is uh, relatively straightforward, except for the fact that the air defenses are right in the center of the base. Um, this time I do have my three lightning spells that I can use to take out one of the air defenses. And I have the hog riders that I can use to uh, hopefully take out the rest. This was a little bit risky. I wasn't sure if they would actually run to the center of the base. Um, and uh, it looks like they're going to make their way into that air defense slowly. And no, not quite. So, oh wow, neither of them actually got taken out. I must have uh, bumped the button by mistake with the uh, lightning spell. Anyway, not to worry. Let's see how we do. Um, we're probably going to lose a whole lot of balloons in this attack. But um, because we're throwing in so many... And there's a tremendous amount of splash damage involved here once we start getting close enough. Oh gosh, those wizards are really tear. See those wizard towers, how fast they tear through a group of balloons like that? And even those wizards out of the clan castle are really doing some serious damage. But anyway, once again, it looks like I am going to clear the majority of this base without too much trouble. Let's see if we can drop a few bombs on those wizards. There we go. That'll take care of them. It looks like it could be a... It's definitely going to be a 3-star, but it, a 2-star, but it could also be a 3-star. So let's see uh, Let's see how that goes. Now, once again, uh, I'm kind of, I've, I've kind of got my training wheels on here. I'm just learning uh, how to use these balloons. I haven't done a lot with them. But it seems like taking out air defenses and steering clear of wizard towers and wizards from clan castles is a pretty good strategy. Um, I don't know that I'm using them to the best of their ability here because uh, as you saw I had uh, a massive amount of uh, balloons wiped out by wizard towers and uh, at the same time it was kind of a goofed attack because I didn't actually destroy the uh, air defenses at the beginning for some reason I, I goofed up on the on the drop of the electric uh, the lightning spell so uh, just a couple more buildings to take care of in the 52 seconds. This is a kind of a boring part, but uh, in any case, that's that's all I have for today is these two attacks. I definitely need to go back to the drawing board and read a bit more about using balloons, but um, I thought I'd share with you my 
my quick learning uh, learning curve that I'm on of uh, how to use balloons and hog riders. It seems to be working out okay as long as I can um, attack a base that is a little bit lower level than me so that the def defenses don't give me too much trouble. Um, thankfully I got to the resources before time ran out. I don't really care about the stars but the resources do matter so um, let's get that last 71 dark elixir and the last building funnily enough. Wow, just in time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye for now.